Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. Um, so in this video, me and Creighton, we're not too sure. I'm pretty sure we didn't. I'm not too sure though if we did a recording on this yet. But today we're going to talk about a piece of hardware that me and Creighton have had for a decent amount of time now. I know we did a podcast on this product on any audio. Um, at least I did, and then me and Creighton talked about it. Um, uh, this is the Behringer Podcast Studio um, that included a Behringer XM8500 microphone, a uh, Xenix 502 mixer, a pair of HPM1000 headphones, I believe it is, and the UAC202, I believe the model number is, um, audio interface. Um, I could, I might have gotten these model numbers wrong. Uh, we will put a Amazon link um, in the description, or I will, since I'll be editing it tonight. I'll put a uh, link in the description where you guys can look for it. Now, it yes. is an older kit, but for starters, it is a pretty damn good deal. Um, Canadian, it's pretty expensive, but um, I've enjoyed it ever since i gotten it. Um, no problems yet, um, at least for now. I may upgrade the interface at some point, and I may upgrade the microphone at some point, but no, this this is a pretty rock-solid um, system for being so old. Yes, and uh, Gabriel and I have... Um, I was the one who introduced him uh, to this yep. kit um, quite a while ago. And, oh, uh, yeah. Gabriel and I have... Uh, truly love this kit uh i use yeah. it a lot um, i i you honestly you'll almost never like if you if you are on team talk with me you'll almost never see me on team talk using the internal microphone like i'm always constantly rooted through this mixer and i've i'm always using this microphone with this mixer now i know there are people out there that just love stereo so much that they say it doesn't sound as good as the yeti i don't care this sounds a lot better than my yeti did and now that I think about it, I don't even care if it's stereo or not. As long as my exactly. output is stereo, I don't need my input to be stereo. Yes. And, I mean, that's, um, just, that's just something to fuck around with. I mean, honestly, I, I used to be a stereo fanatic, I'll admit that. And I think Creighton used to as well. Oh, I used to but a lot. Now it, it, I mean, binaural is still a cool thing, but stereo, it doesn't really matter to me anymore, you know? Because no. panning around was pretty pointless. And... Um, I want to talk to you briefly, uh, too. Why would you want a kit like this? Well, uh, back in the days of Windows XP, there used to be a thing called What You Hear, or um, in Never Windows Vista and Windows 7, they called it Stereo Mix. Right. And it was okay. Um, and it worked pretty Didn't well for really. what it was. Mm, yeah, it wasn't the best. Um, I did use it in Windows 8.1, and it was pretty bad. And um, the Behringer Podcast Studio Kit solves all that. And um, we'll kind of go over some things uh, as we go through. Uh, by the way, I do want to mention... The way that Windows handles this kit, uh, it definitely isn't very nice. At least I don't think it is. Um, I think that uh, the way that Windows handles it, um, I don't know, uh, Gabriel, how to really describe it to people. Um, the way that Windows handles it, it just, it's, I mean, you can get it to work, but it just, um, I don't know how to describe it, it's, really. It's not the best. Um, one thing it likes to do... Well, it puts it mono for one thing. Yeah, that's the one I was going to say. It's mono by default, so you'd have to go in there and change the output to uh, stereo. Which is kind of BS, because well, you Yeah, you have to change the... Uh, it's in your input tab, um, your recording tab, 
and the sound dialogue. So, um, I, uh, you know, I've had to go in on my Windows box and uh, do that. Same. But on Mac, um, we don't face that issue at all. We don't have to go through all that. But we might as well talk about what it's like setting up, because I have set up one of these myself. I have two, and it's if you're completely blind and you don't have anyone sighted near you, it's a little bit of a, it'll take you some time. It can be a little bit of, um, of, a, of a pain, but it is pretty cool once you figure it out. into the mixer board so so unboxing it I used to have a recording of where I did unbox it and I went through and set one up however um, I don't have that recording anymore um, uh, it was on an older computer that um, I don't use anymore so you know, I don't have that anymore. Um, but unboxing, it's pretty simple. Um, there is a part of the microphone stand that you have to put through the bottom. And then it goes out the top. And that's for your microphone clip. Which puts the microphone on the stand. So... You know, be very uh, cautious of that. Be very aware of it. Other than that, everything's standard. You get your um, cables with two ends, two outs. Uh, the two ends go to the mixer and the interface. And the two outs go to the mixer and the interface. And you have to make sure that they are set right and they're set properly. Because if not... Well, you'll be having a whole bunch of fun. Uh, just putting that out there. You'll be having... Uh, well, I would say not really uh, a lot of fun trying to figure all that out. Um, yeah. The XLR is easy. One end, one end goes to the mixer. Um, and then the other end goes into the microphone itself um, there is an XLR connector on the mat or the uh, microphone uh, the mixer is wall powered it needs that because of phantom um, this is before USB mixers really became powerful enough to support it um, so Another thing I have that Gabriel doesn't have quite yet is I have the uh, 3.5 inch to stereo 1.4 TSR, um, where it's got two TSR connectors. And that's one thing I don't have quite yet. I wish I could get one, um, but I don't have one yet. But it is pretty cool, and uh, in fact, I could show you how it works. And, um, I can I can show you how it works. I'll connect my phone or something. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, and the adapter I must mention goes in uh, one way, and the headphone jack. Uh, you'll want to know where that's at. That's over on the right hand side. Um, of the mixer, it's its own little jack. So just remember that. And it's right up at the top where it's got Behringer written. Uh, that's how you'll know that it's the headphone jack. But this mixer does a good job. It's a nice little audio board. And uh, I 
know a lot of people criticize it, but that's okay. Um, you know, if they want to criticize it, then let them. But this thing does a pretty good job for what it is. Um, let's go over some of the mixer controls that you might want to be aware of, um, especially on the bottom and towards the top. Um, so, up uh, at the bottom on the right hand side, you have your mix control, which I can crank that up, and of course I have to back away from the microphone, which we're going to turn down. Yes, we are. We're going to turn that down. And we're going to turn it right back to where it needs to be. The nice thing is, is that um, this mixer in particular has analog knobs, so you'll know where everything is. So it's really nice about that. Um, the one to the left, if you're doing headphones directly to the mixer, um, you have your headphone knob. The one to the left of that, you really don't need to worry about. The other one to the left of that is your mic volume, and of course, I have to, if I turn it down really well, I have to get right close to the mic, and I can turn it right back up again, which, oops. Then, above that, you have pan, which here is the left. Yeah, see left. And here's the right. See, left, right, left, right. Um, pretty cool. It pins out uh, your microphone. Um, so yeah, you got the pan knob, um, and uh, then you got your, what is this, microphone base. So, you know, that's all the way up, and this is all the way down. Of course, I keep it center. Um, it's good to do that. Then you got your mic treble, which funny enough... Um, when I first got this kit, this is how I used to podcast with, was this mic treble, like that. And of course, then you have your mic gain, which I know that's clipping, which yeah, I'm, it is. I'm going to turn that down right where it needs to be. Um, nice thing about this is that, like I said, with the analog knobs, you have a lot of, um, uh, you have the arrows, and so I've recognized where the arrows, uh, where I like to have them, and of course, I tend to remember where they go, and, uh, yeah, so it's nice, I love it. Yep, um... In my case, since I cannot see, um, I kind of have to like monitor my audio and play it by ear to see how it sounds, and I do it that way. Um, but the microphone isn't as big as the Blue Yeti, too, so if you wanted to, um, if you're crazy enough, you can pull it off of the stand and do handheld if you wanted to. Um, there's no switch on here to mute it. So if you wanted so to mute yourself, you'll have to you have turn to down your mic volume. Turn down the gain. Yeah. And I don't turn too. down the balance. I leave the balance alone. I turn down the gain. Yeah, that's a good one to do as well because you um, can because the the balance one really low too sensitive. Um, so I I leave that um, balance knob staying at twelve. And I use the gain knob to. Uh, See, now, Do I'm that. a little bit different than Gabriel because I have the 
gain uh, the balance uh, uh, at the bottom, the mic volume, uh, set uh, all the way to the left, and then the gain I have turned up slightly. Slightly. The gain, wait, which one's the gain one? The top one? The gain is the top. Okay, so what I'm, okay, what I'm trying to say is I leave the balance, I leave the gain knob at the top at 12, and when I want to do control it, I turn down balance. Sorry, I kind of got the knobs confused here, because um, I never have to name them. But the gain knob is a little too sensitive for me, um, so I usually keep it at 12 o'clock, and I uh, change my balance, because it's not as sensitive. Um, as the the balance knob isn't as sensitive as the gain knob, which is something I like. Well, I mean, now I understand that for some people it is very sensitive. To me, it's not. Probably because I've owned this kit before. Um, before I got this uh, new one, um, I owned it back in my seventh grade year of high school, and so you know, it's. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's very nice. Very, yeah, very nice. Yeah, it's however you want to it's however it however you want to do it. Just as long as you're not clipping or anything. Of like that this. Or like this. Um, oh, fuck. I don't know how that scared me. Um, I'm going to um, make <laughs> that, what you just said, yeah. I'm going to make that an isolation <laughs> here in just a little bit. Okay, I'll, are you recording too? Yes, I am. Okay. Okay. And then I'll upload uh, the, a little. I'll uh, upload this version to YouTube then, and then you can do whatever you want to that file. I'm gonna yeah, do I a few will. edits to it. Um. <laughs> anyway, so that's the mixer board. Um, there is a knob which I'll get to here in just a moment. I, I'm going past the rim. I'm going to look at my rocking chair, and I'm going to get my <laughs> Yes, he is. Headphone adapter. Which I don't want to hear no complaints in the comments about no headphone jack. I don't want to hear it. Well, I mean, if we get if we get stuff, I can completely I can disable the comments for all the videos. Yeah. And of course, which I'd hate to do, but I'm I ended up doing to, that in my main channel. I'm going to grab my thing, plug it in. And I'll show you how it sounds. Whoa. Oh, fuck me. Woo. Why is that only on the one side? Um, probably because I panned the line in where it doesn't need to be. There's a knob. Yep. Um... <laughs> I might have something hooked up wrong, maybe. Oh, yeah, okay, I had the pan knob set wrong. So, of course, if I play this... Notifications. Oopsies. Previous track, play, button. Previous track, button. Previous play, button. Off. Of course, I won't play it long. I think that's long enough. Yeah, um, so... I don't want to get copyrighted. Stupid copyright. Um, but <laughs> I'm. I don't. Would it be under fair use, or would that? What would that be considered as if you played music like that? Uh, I mean, if you played it for about thirty seconds, then you know you'd be okay. I think. So. I uh, don't want to try. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna try. YouTube is getting a lot stricter these days, especially to smaller YouTubers. All right, um, let's see. But of course, you know, we have my phone. Page bar mobile, bar mobile, bar mobile, bar mobile, back up. And, uh, files come. That means that we can. Settings, tip, go with files, come, files, come, go with them, files, come. Files, heading, dismiss, selected, recordings, button, clips, button, all, button, all, button, all, button, clips, selected, dismiss, button. There files, you guys button, go. Button, 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 button. Um, 
Oh wow. Okay. You should turn your um, mixer down. Your mixer. Your oh. mixer mic. The volume. mic so volume. Okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh. Mic. <laughs> Oh, oh wow. That sounds pretty good. Page one, 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 Sense, heading, button, send feedback, button, tips and tricks, button, selected, magic capital, report, slash, button, one and two, magic capital, external mic gain, 100%, small cat size, deselected, button, external mic gain, small cat size, deselected, small cat size, selected. Ah, uh, wow. Small cat size, large cat size, deselected, button, ease out, selected, button, linear, deselected, button, ease out, select, linear, ease in, deselected, escort, deselect, dumping out, dumping attack, point two, dumping release, point seven five, adjust, sound clip fading. Ease out, selected, button. Linear, deselected, button, ease in, deselected, escort, deselected, button, clip a time, one point two, pause, switch button, off, clip a time, one point two five, adjustable, enable, 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 adjustable, switch button, enable, compression, switch button, on, off. Turn that off. Enable low cut filter, switch button on. <laughs> Let's turn low cut off. Enable low cut filter, switch button on. Off. Oh, no. Yeah. Enable new compression, switch button on. Ew! It compress, compress, compress. <laughs> compress, compress, compress. <laughs> Go poop your pants. <laughs> And comp oh, that compression sounds horrible. <laughs> Can you please disable that? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so, in case you were wondering now, what um, that was, that is an app called Backpack Studio, which is very similar to what Bostock used to be. Which I will get from his Apple ID at some Sweet point. Money. Which... Yes, I have an we Apple ID. We will not I be giving I that out. I have an Apple ID specifically for us. So yeah. wait, you're saying you have two Apple IDs? Well, I have an Apple ID that's for us. And us. I'm saying that because, well, yeah, they so don't we need to know. Anyway. Um, but yeah, no, these are really nice kits. Now, Crate, I had a question for you. When you have your iPhone rooted, which buttons did you have depressed? Okay. Um, I'm very depressed. I'm just kidding. Whoops. Yeah, you better not say that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm not really. <laughs> Stupid. That's um, so wrong. That is so wrong. That's what she said. Anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, if you want your computer your line in whatever rooted um, I have the top button uh, decompressed or depressed is it yeah. is it out or in out like is it it's fully okay, out. It's out so that's what you would do if you want the computer rooted then the bottom button is in the down position which is about right which I'm not gonna mess with because that may ruin the recording a little bit if I and then, get that out of rooting. Um, what you'll do is, if you want to unroot the stuff, then you have to hit the top button in the down position. And then, in order to hear your speech, you have to hit the bottom. Actually, button. no, you don't. Well, I guess yeah, because when you have the okay, computer, so how, if you're if you're monitoring through. The mixer. The mixer. You have basically, to do that. Yeah. And, um, well, you don't really have to, because if you have the top button depressed, you'll still be rooted with the bottom one, so you'll still hear speech. But if you want to unroot, then you'd put the switch in the up position. I'll have to try that. Um, That's because usually... I know that, at least on my end, if I hit the top button with the bottom button down, and both buttons are down, um, I can hear the microphone being monitored in real time but i can't hear speech is that is that the 502 or the 302 the 502 what yeah and i've looked my top button really yeah i've looked on other people's ways of hooking it up and i've got it hooked up right that's odd because whenever i have both buttons down like 
when I mean down, the buttons are almost flush with the device. Yeah. That's weird because no. my bu my top button needs to be up for me to be able to hear my own mic. Okay, I'll have to try that at some point. Experiment with it, yeah. So when you want to monitor your iPhone, though, do you have to have... The, well, I guess I'd have to get a cable and experiment with Yeah, you'll with have it, to. I mean, we can try different. it here after we're done because this is not an experimental channel. Yeah, not yet anyway. <laughs> we might uh, um, upload some binaur oh, crud. binaural stuff to it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, um, that would be cool. Um, but yeah, these are really nice kits. I do need, again, I do need to get an adapter, or the cable, to put the, to have my iPhone go through. Actually, this will be convenient if I'm doing Linux tutorials, so I'd have to put the mic right next to the computer's speakers. Yeah, um, it is pretty cool. Uh, you know, once you do get that cable, and you get it set up to what you want. But, you know, like Gabriel and I have said, it's a wonderful starting kit. And, uh... It's good if you don't want to spend thousands of dollars on Sennheiser stuff. Yes. Pretty much. I mean, here in the U.S., the kit can be gotten for a hundred. It was about 200 something for me because I'm in Canada, but, you know. Anyway. I imagine the cable's pretty cheap, unless I can convince my... Do you do you have a few around of those, Creighton? I don't. A the other those? one that okay, I have, have is with the other kit. Oh, it's at Chil it's down in Chillicothe. Yes, and since I'm not down there very much, and when I am down there, I don't really go and look for stuff like that yeah uh um because i only bought cheap, two um but yeah i need yeah. to get one of those but that's the kit y'all yeah it is um plain and simple um i may come on here you guys after i've uploaded this one to do a channel update because there is an update and i'll consult i'll consult with um creighton for this one but I'm, I have some plans for this channel, actually, that I kind of want to run by him. Um, it'll be a mainly me thing, since I'll have to do this from Windows, maybe. But we'll get it figured out, and I will come on and do a channel update tonight if I feel like it. Because yeah. I may get lazy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. That's it, guys. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video um, and since I'm editing it, editing it I'm going to do a, dun a ton of edits on it. I'm probably going to put some background music and shit like that. So that is going to be it everyone. Again thank you for watching like, comment, subscribe um. and <laughs> and we will see you in the next one.